I must say a pleasant good night to everyone, friends, family. It is not easy. I'm not coming to you for joke. I'm coming to you to let you know coronavirus is not easy. I got it. Is the most extreme in pain <laughs> you can ever experience in your life. I'm begging everyone in this country, in the United States, especially in New York City here. It is not easy. Please. We have two great leaders, Andrew Como and Bill de Blasio begging us. I'm asking you guys, please, listen. Listen, it is not easy. I didn't expect it. I didn't go inside anyone. But Monday I went to work this week and I find myself coughing at work, coughing. I come home, I do my regular exercise. I go to bed when I wake up. I get a dizziness. I take it for nothing. I went to work. It get worse. I come back home. I take a shower. I even wake up my wife. I sit in this chair here where I have these things. I call my doctor. I didn't know because I know they open early. Well, they didn't. Someone answered and said they will get back to me. I'm telling you. When I tell my doc, when my doctor do call me and I tell him how I feel, he said, I will send you some medication. Man, that day, oh, it's roaring pain and it's change. What you experience in the day? Forget the night. It is worst in the night. It is worst in the night. Imagine one night I lying on my bed. You can't sleep. I can pain in, in your eye. There is a pressure constance in your eyes, your forehead and the back of your head. And the rest of your body is pain in you. It's like if you touch your head, it's going to explode. You can't. I began to pray for two hours. I cry for two hours and I pray and I ask God, I don't want to suffer. If I got to suffer, please, I will understand. Call me, my number. That's the way I was feeling. I don't want to suffer. I prayed, I prayed. And all of a sudden, like, I felt let me feel my pillow because I said I wet my pillow. When I checked, I in my pillow didn't wet. All the water coming out of my eyes is so hot. It drying up on the side of my face. I don't have a temperature. I don't have fever. It's it's like it's I don't know how to explain it. It's different. It's different. I'm begging. As a New Yorker, I'm begging everybody, please, let's all play our part. Let's all do which is right. Stop for one minute and ask yourself, who does you care about? We have elderly. I have kids. I have a wife. And I will not like them to experience this. Right now, I didn't go to no hospital. I quarantine myself in my room. My wife, just to show you, I want to protect my kids. Every time I wait, I got one bathroom, one bathroom in my house. I wait, try hold everything. But peeing, she gave me a bucket. Look, I use this to pee in. When I bathe, I bid late at night when everybody gone and sleep. I put my clothes in bag when I finish. Plastic bag. Tie them up. 
I walk with my spray, light soil spray to the bathroom when I go there. When I use the toilet at night, I wipe it down when I finish good for myself. I tell you, I don't got taste. I don't got no feelings to eat anything. All I do, I drink. I know I bought a couple of cases, well, of orange juice, apple juice, water, and cranberry juice. I drink. I drink. So fast, I drink. Before, when I finish drink, one apple juice, um, orange juice, chapicana. When I finish drink this, 30 seconds after, I have to go and pee in the bucket. That's a five gallon bucket. But the day I half it. As soon as they go on and sleep, I go, I throw it out. I come back. They bring me something, I tell them, put it down by the door for me. Just knock the door. I'm going to get it. Sometimes the anger and pain, you sit on your bed. I'm telling you, you cannot get up. Sometimes you can't even sit on your bed. I have to go on the ground. And sit down, tell myself I need some I ease a rest. It's not it's not easy. As a father, I'm telling you this. One day I hear my last son, 15 year old, and her big sister fighting. Her next sister go to Parching Camp Park. I have to get up and go there just to show you the pressure and what I'm going through. I'm like a prisoner in my own place. It's not easy. I know we all frustrated, but please, I'm begging you guys. I'm begging you guys. I'm begging you from the bottom of my heart. If you have some sympathy for others out there, quarantine yourself. They said, stay home. Stay off the street, man. Come on, man. It's not easy. This is not a joke. I called my niece yesterday. She told me my next one of my sister have it. And she have it bad. I prayed for her. I don't know. She was in the hospital. Every night. I tell it, you guys. Every night. All I'm hearing is siren. I can't sleep. The ambulance. I thank God. For every doctor and every nurse. And the first response is them. I thank God for them. Without them. I know many. Cannot make it. But we all. Can do better. We can do better. There is a God. I know. I do. My sister sent me something. And I try it. And I see it works. This. Is a blow dryer. I use it. Control the air to the bottom. And I put it on a 45 degree. And let it blow up in my nose for 15 minutes. 15 minutes 15 minutes the heat and I'm telling you when I finish although I does exercise I exercise I sweat I sweat I sweat but in everything I do I pray and asking God open that door I know I don't want to talk so fast I tell myself I'm seeing the ending of the road but now, I have a bad diary. So, it's like different stages is going. It's going in different stages. Last night gone, my whole body just stops burning me. Burning, burning, burning all over my body. And then, when the night finished, the day come, my whole body just stops aching me. I'm telling you. I never experienced pain so in my whole life. I asked myself, what did I do to deserve this? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this pain? When I call back my doctor and I tell him, he said, my friend, I got to break it to you. You have the virus. I couldn't do nothing. I just shake my head on the phone. He on the phone. He asked if, he, if I'm there. I said, yes, doc, I'm here. He said, you got the virus, protect yourself. He said, still quarantine yourself. He said, still take the medication I give to you. But 
this virus have no boundary. I will tell anybody it, it has no boundary. I don't know. For years I've been exercising at home. Every evening I finish work, I come home, I do most exercise, push-ups, sit-ups and different things. If it's one thing I could say, it never mess with my breathing. But the pain that goes through my body, I can't believe it. Only God alone knows. God alone knows the pain. <laughs> what is in my body? I'm begging you guys, please. Let's all come together. We can stop it. But it need people just like me and you to stop it. Not just going out there and doing like you don't feel like. Hey, you have elderly people. If you respect somebody, you got to start respecting yourself first. Respect come within yourself. So I'm begging you, please. It is not easy. This is not a road. We all want to walk. When you get it, if you do get it, I bet you, you're going to say what I say is truth. It is not easy. I know many have it. Many have it. <sighs> and they are not recovered. They passed away. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed. I thank God for bringing me I'm mostly through it. It is not easy. Birds, let's all join hands. Pray. Quarantine yourself. If you don't need anything, do not go on the road, man. Come on. Come on. It doesn't make sense. Stay with your family. I beg my sister. She living by herself. I said, sis, stay inside. Stay inside because it is not easy. She calling every day and checking up on me. And I tell she, she said, Oh God, I praying for you. I tell she, I said, Girl, Unglu God knows how I feel. You don't know, nobody don't know. Many nights I lie down here with it. Can't sleep. I don't tell my wife. I just kept it because I know she's she, she going to work. She's tired. I am back burning her with so much things. I know you're supposed to be up front, but God knows it. God knows I do the right thing. I'm begging you guys, please. From the bottom of my heart, we have two good leaders. I ain't got nothing against the president. But I don't see... The President of the United States stand up to us like how Andrew Kuma and Bill de Blasio stand up. I ain't got nothing against him. But I've been honest, they speak the truth. I give them the utmost respect for what they said to us. They've been honest to us. They're begging us every day. We are not in a police state. Police is not bothering us. So please, I'm begging you guys. They're not charging you to be on the street when they meet you. I'm begging you guys. Stay home. Man, what does it take? What does it take? I didn't know if I'd been going to survive. Because I'm telling you, I prayed, I prayed, and I asked in God, I don't want to be suffered. If I got to suffer, call me. It's too much pain, man. You don't have, when you want to drink something, guess what? No taste. Eating, forget it. No feelings eating. All you're doing is drinking. Drinking. And normally, my wife, I tell she makes some quick old porridge for me. No milk. Because milk causes mucus. And I don't want that inside of me. So she just barley quick oats and I eat it like that. That goes down my stomach. Anything greasy, forget it. Now and then, little chicken for soup, she gives to me. I'm not eating, I'm just drinking the, the broth. Please. Please. I'm, I think I'm at the end of the road. That's what I'm thinking and I'm hoping. 
and pray. I don't want to talk too fast because this has different stages. Every day is something different. A night is something different today. That's what I am experiencing right now. I'm in my house, in my room. Look. I'm quarantined myself. It's not easy being a prisoner in your own house. It's not easy. I'm telling you. This is not a joke. This is not a game. Young ones, many feel, I tell my son, I call him the next day because I couldn't talk the way I was feeling. And I talk to him, the door closed. I tell him, stand up there, sit down. And I tell him, this is not a joke. This is not a hoax. I beg him. I beg him. I know he frustrated. Please, I don't want him to go outside. And he's going out, he's going out, he and his sister getting an argument. I beg him, I beg him, I said, stay inside. I beg you, son. What I'm going through, I will not like you to go through it. Let me go through it for you. I've done in it. Let me bear the pain for you. Let me bear the pain as a father for you. You're 15. Stay inside for me, please. I ask him that. I tell him, I said, I've done in it. Let me go through it for you. If you, as a son, love me and cares about me as a father, Stay inside. He said, he replied to me, Dad, I'm sorry. It's not going to happen again. That's what he replied to me. I'm listening to you. I'm taking the oaths. It's not easy. I know being inside, a lot of us frustrated. But we can get through it together. You got a family? Hey, talk to your family. I tell my son, you're bored. You got your school. Work. He wants to get up five o'clock, do his school. Work. Now, do your school work during the day. When you're bored, get on the laptop. You have your phone, get on your phone, play Candy Crush, find something to do on the computer. You could go online, do something. Occupy your time, try it. With this virus, although I lied on him, my wife turned to me and he said, Turn on the TV. I turned to her and I tell her, No, because I tried it. The, like when you turn the TV on and you look at it, some most of the time it get worse. Like if it's more pain coming, your eyes, the light, you gotta be in the dark just to feel comfortable. I gotta sit down on the ground, flat on the ground, just to feel comfortable. Try to get an ease. You gotta try to find some way how to get an ease. I'm telling you, it's not easy. Put your truth, yourself through this. So I wish you all, everyone, the best of health. And I ask in you guys, please, be safe. It is not easy. Bye. Share this with anybody you know.